What is going on guys and welcome back to another very exciting video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at Google and Google is a very interesting company that has ran up over 15% in just the last month. So what we are going to do in this video is we are going to take a look at what is causing this massive move upwards from Google. We're going to take a look at that technology and how it could impact the company well into the future. And then we're going to end off the video by taking a look at how its valuation stacks up against other big tech companies and what that could mean for the stock price into the future. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit that sub button. Let's start off by taking a look at their chart. We can see here today the stock moved up a little over 1%. Over the last five days, we can see that it's moved up over 4.5%. Over the last month, as we mentioned, it's up over 15.5%. And if we look at the last six months, we can see that the stock is up over 24%. So there's a lot of positive momentum in the upward direction for Google right now. Now. One of the things that has really been driving momentum for Google over the first quarter has been large hedge funds and super investors investing into Google. And we can see here one of those investors is Bill Ackman. Bill Ackman's hedge fund has actually added around 10 million shares of Google to its portfolio worth around $1.2 billion. However, what is causing the more recent momentum is Google's AI announcement around their new Google search engine that is actually designed to be searched. Originally with Bard, they made the claim that it was not a search engine. It was not supposed to be asked questions. It was purely designed to help people actually perform tasks. Now with their search engine, this is something that appeals a lot more to the individual and can easily be integrated into people's lives. With the announcement of this new AI search engine, the stock has gained over 12% and added $160 billion to its market value. Here they have a video presentation of this new Google search engine, which is called Google I.O. And what I love about this presentation is they show how easily this new technology integrates into their already existing search engine. That's one of the biggest problems I have seen with ChatGPT and other AI search engines is that they aren't well integrated into the existing technology. And what that means is you're requiring your users to learn something new. And when they already understand the interface, they already understand how it works, and they are just integrating this new technology like Google is doing, I think a lot more more users will find that to be user friendly and start using the technology right away. One thing that investors are always looking at is how is this new technology going to help the bottom and top lines? And that is what Google has done very well here. So they are showing right here how this new generative AI technology is going to help users even shop for new items. So what Google can already do is start monetizing and basically advertising different items to move them to the top of the search list. Right, People will pay to have their bicycle or whatever it may be move to the top of the search list if someone is searching this generative technology and trying to basically find a new bike. That is something that Google has done very well here that also makes investors very confident that Google will be able to monetize this new technology. One thing that Google clearly understands from their announcement is that AI technology is built to learn. That is the key detail to AI technology is that it is supposed to be a learning technology technology that over time is continuously improving. And that is something that they are focused on already from the start. They announced Search Labs. So Search Labs is basically their laboratory for getting feedback and continuing to improve this generative AI search technology. And if you want to go one step further, you can actually join a wait list for Search Labs. And this helps you provide feedback to Google so that they can continue to improve their technology. One of the most important things for an investor is to make sure they're buying at a fair or undervalued price. And the best way to do that is to look at peers for that company. So what we're going to do here next is look at Google compared to other peers within the market. So here we can see that Google right now is trading around a 19.16 when we look at it straight up on Yahoo Finance. But if you actually look at their projected earnings for this year, it's around $5.34. And if we compare that to actually their current price of $120.84, we actually get a PE ratio that's closer to around 22. One of Google's peers is Apple, and we can see that Apple right now is trading at a 28.49 PE ratio. And if you compare that and go in and look at what analysts are expecting for earnings for this year, it's around $5.97. And if we take their current stock price of 172.69 and divide it by $5.97, we actually get a PE ratio that's somewhere kind of around 29, so a little bit above where it's at right now, but still fairly above where Google is 
at. One company that Google is often compared to is Microsoft. So Microsoft, we can see that they are trading at a forward P ratio of 28.33. But when we actually go in and look at what analysts are expecting for this year, we see that they are expecting around $9.67 in earnings. And when we divide their current price by $9.67, we actually get a forward P ratio that's closer to 32.5. And the final stock that I would say Google is compared to is Meta. And Meta and Google have a very similar business model. They both rely heavily on advertising. So this may be the most accurate comparison, but Meta has actually been beaten down in a more significant way than Google. So its PE ratio is all the way down sitting at a 20.62. And when I look at the analysts and what they're expecting for next year for earnings, it actually falls in line again with around this 20 and a half forward PE ratio. So what we can do with that information is we can run a comparison between those PE ratios. So Google right now is sitting at a price of $120.84. Its current PE ratio is sitting around 22.63. Again, that's when we plug in an earnings number of $5.34, we're getting this PE ratio. So we have a potential PE ratio that's in line with Meta. So again, Meta we said is trading around a 21. If we were to see Google trade down to a 21 PE ratio, we would actually see the stock fall 7%. In my opinion, Meta is also trading at a very low valuation compared to where it actually should be trading. So that is something that this doesn't take into consideration, right? Should Meta actually be trading at a 21? Uh, maybe not. Maybe it should be at a 25 to 30 because it's got a decent amount of growth in front of it. So that's a whole nother question. But if it were to trade down to a 21, it would trade down 7%. If it were to trade up to a 28 and a half PE ratio, then we would see the stock trading at $152, which would be a 25, almost 26% move. And then if we take this number and plug in the PE ratio that we're seeing from Microsoft, which is a 32.5, we actually get a number of $173.54, which would be a 43, almost 44% move from the current stock price. So with all of that said, am I a net buyer or net seller, or what am I doing with my own shares of Google? Personally, I am just holding. I like the stock a lot anywhere below $100. That's when I really start adding. If it drops below 90, then I'm starting to add very heavy. But right now, I really just like where the stock is headed. I'm happy with my position size. If it drops back down, I'd be willing to build it out even further. But I think that there's still plenty of upside in the stock. So I'm also not selling out. I think it could trade up to 150. We've obviously seen that happen in the past under very good market conditions. I think it could easily trade up there. Under great market conditions, I think it could trade all the way up to $175. But also the other thing that we have to keep in mind is with this AI technology that they have coming out, will it help improve their sales and really drive their top line and bottom line growth? That is something I think is going to happen in the future. And with that, I could easily see them, you know, breaking through new all-time highs and really driving the stock price up in a major way. So that is all my opinion. Remember, do not buy a company just because some random guy on YouTube talked about it. Make sure you are doing your own research and looking into companies that meet your risk tolerance as well as your time horizon. So with all of that said, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit that sub button. And as always, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day.